Welcome to WPZ Card. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up live shipping. Uh, and EasyCart offers uh, several different options for live shipping, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, DHL, Canada Post, Australia Post, and many other e commerce systems offer these as a modular system. And so you can add up uh, a lot of fees if you go with other companies where you might pay a hundred dollars per module to get live shipping where EasyCart includes all of these features in our professional or premium edition so you can enable USPS and FedEx or UPS and FedEx or you you know so on and so forth uh, to really get good accurate live shipping and it's one of the huge benefits that our system offers over competitive e-commerce systems so let's take a look at how to get this operational um, you can see I have just a demo store here set up with some products uh, they're just retail items if you go into every product uh, the first thing you do want to make sure is that they are set for shippable, shippable items. Uh, live shipping is the one uh, scenario where uh, packaging and shipping do come in. So if you go to shipping options under a product, make sure that you do have enable shipping on them. I've seen a lot of people struggle. They can't get rates because they just simply don't have them checked as shipping. Now. The other thing with live shipping, and this is really where the packaging options come in, is the uh, weights and heights and dimensions. Um, this is where this information is used. So make sure that you do come in and you set up accurate weights and accurate uh, heights, widths, and lengths, at least as best as you can. EasyCart's going to try to build a package based on what users um, enter. And some of the shipping calculators require different information. Uh, some of them do not require widths and heights, they only require weights. Um, so we just say, uh, as a general rule, if you're going to use live shipping, then create weights and, and dimensions for them. Now if you use uh, the metric system, they're going to be in um, kilogram, or they're going to be in ounces, and they're going to be in centimeters. Uh, if you use a standard system, you're going to use pounds and inches. And so if you have something that's, you know, 16 ounces, you have to convert that uh, from pounds and put it in here. So if you have a half pound item, you put in 0.5. And then if you have uh, items that are 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches, um, I'll put in a two pound item here just so it's kind of a normal one. Uh, so then you have uh, the heights and widths set up. So these really do depend on what shipping you're going to use, and I'll show you that later. And then just make sure that your shipping is enabled. So let's take a look at how to actually set up live shipping. And to do that, we're going to go to settings. And I'm going to set up one live shipping system uh, for USPS, but it's very similar across all of them. If you go to your shipping settings, uh, you'll notice here you have uh, Australia Post, Canada Post, uh, DHL, FedEx, and UPS, and they're all very similar. They all require different keys or access numbers or, you know, <clears throat> some kind of authentication to get you in there. And you're going to have to contact those shipping providers to get that information. It's it's all over the place when you visit their websites um, so make sure you discuss with your provider how to get that they also want to know what your origin uh, postal address is going to be uh, so that's important to set these up with all of these um, some of these have what's called a conversion rate and so we usually do a one-to-one -one. so whatever they return we show but if you do use, for example, FedEx or UPS, you could bump the conversion up like 1.2 means it would add 20% to the rate that's returned. So sometimes that's useful if you're trying to skew the rates up or down. And they do have test modes here. Uh, I always recommend just running them in live mode. So these are the systems and then up here at the top we do have uh, USPS. And USPS just requires a uh, username and this username is not your login for USPS and I know a lot of people struggle with that 
trying to find what the API username is. So make sure you contact the USPS if you're not sure. Um, and we just have a test one here. I'm going to give it a go. And I'm going to put in just a test um, origin. And when you do, it's going to say connected. And all of these will do this. They'll all say that they're disabled or they will show green when they're actually connected. And so make sure you get a good connection. And that's all it takes to enable live shipping. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and jump over here to rates, shipping rates. And this is where you actually have all of your various um, rates that come back from a carrier. Now, live rates will handle this for you. So don't try to get too tricky with your, uh, your live rates. Uh, so first thing you do up here is you have to make sure you choose the live rate shipping because that's what you're going to use here. You can see we are connected to USPS. If we had the others connected, they would show. And you can connect to two, three of them. That's fine. Um, just remember you're, you're making calls to them and it could slow performance down a little bit. Um, so I try to minimize it and just use one or two. And then you'll notice we fill in all these live rates down here, but you can add them. So if I wanted to go to USPS, I can use the selector here and I can pick, okay, I want to add priority commercial. Um, you know, I'm going to call this USPS priority commercial. And we have some other settings here I'll talk about later. And we'll just add it new and you will see that it shows up in here as well. Oh, I've added a whole bunch of other uh, UPS ones in here. I'm going to go ahead and remove these because I'm not using UPS. Uh, it shouldn't hurt anything if I have them in there, um, but you'd want to clean these up. Uh, the other thing I really recommend is that you use as many as you can uh, because even though you add uh, five or six different rates that does not mean they're going to show up for everybody because for example ground shipping to Hawaii or Alaska isn't going to work it's not going to return anything um, and many cities don't offer express or they don't offer priority so if you add more then the API has more to return and work with and I'll show you you don't see the res all the results um, in most cases so We've got connected, we've chose live shipping rates, we have it connected here, we have all of our rates. Let's take a look at the storefront side and I'm just going to go ahead and pick a product here and we'll just go ahead and start checkout. And there is a lot to set up with live shipping, I will say that. Now, when users first add something to their shopping cart, you might be wondering why they see zero dollar shipping. And that's because you're using live rates. Uh, they don't know what the address is, so it can't fetch a good shipping rate. Uh, in a lot of cases, people like to turn this off in the cart, and they'll show shipping later on in the checkout process. So if you do want to do that, you can flip over to your shipping settings, and you can hide the cart on the first page. And that's perfectly fine to do. It kind of cleans up the workflow as you go through. The user doesn't have to worry about it here, and as they go through checkout, they will start to see shipping. The first thing we have to do here um, is add their information, shipping and billing information. So let's go ahead and add an address. I'll just use a test account here. And you can see shipping is still zero, and as soon as we go to the payment page, we're going to see it pull in live rates. And EasyCart's going to use whatever the cheapest rate is. And you can see right here, shipping method is just automatically selected as 770, a live rate, and the user can just check out. And so we have the, the, the fastest workflow set up right by default in EasyCart. And if users want to check different, they can always go to edit shipping method, and it will take them to the shipping method, and they can select what they want. Now this is a good scenario where I was talking about adding more rates. If you just added, for example, uh, let's go back to my shipping rates, and we just added you know, USPS Retail Ground, it doesn't show up here. It's not available from that location to the other location. And so this is a case where the user would get $0 shipping and check out. Um, 
so it's important to add as many as you can again I can't I can't express that enough add as many as you can and let the API the live rates which is why you're using it calculate which is the best services for that area <clears throat> so you might be wondering how to get this on because we went directly from the billing address directly to the payment page let me jump back to the billing page here so the users checking out they just jump directly to the payment page and so we have an option because we have it streamlining right now to check out and skip that shipping panel but you can turn it on if you like um, if you're using live shipping so bypass shipping selection I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and you notice the button here on my billing address says continue to the payment page so there's just really two pages if we turn that on now we have our billing address and it's going to go to that shipping page so continue to shipping the user would just go to this extra step they would go ahead and select what shipping they want and then they would continue to the payment and so again once they get to the payment they can always edit their method but this is kind of locking in the order at this point so when it submits it knows so there's kind of a workflow change there and you can do that by turning on that shipping page or turning it off uh, it just depends on what you are looking for um, it, certainly in the other shipping methods it might be fine to just go ahead and bypass that so um, let's take a look at a couple other features that we have um, because a lot of live shipping rates uh, people want to customize and so let's go back to our shipping rates here and a lot of times people have a rate and they want to override it maybe you want to offer free priority shipping as long as they choose that you can open this up you can do a override and say this is free shipping and I could even uh, give it a custom uh, label here as well and so I'm gonna go ahead and come down to the bottom here and save this and now if we just go ahead and refresh this um, the the USPS priority will be overridden with zero so we do have a nice option there if you wanted to use that um, we also have a few other things in here such as a free shipping uh, shipping threshold uh, maybe you only want free shipping if the user purchases a hundred dollars or more and so you could set that as um, as an override essentially as well it's kind of a promotion that's built into individual triggers uh, the other option we have here is is zones and this is one area where I 100% say leave them off. Uh, people set up shipping zones thinking they want to limit it just to, you know, the lower 48 or just to North America or just to Europe. You don't need to do that. Um, that's the wrong use of the shipping zones. And let the let the live shipping calculator do its thing. Um, that's it's already designed to change rates if it's going to Europe or going to Canada or whatnot and by setting up a shipping zone what you can do is actually block users from getting any kind of rates uh, because the minute you add a shipping zone it's only going to show if there's a match to the address and so if it's not then no other user would ever see this this rate and so it's a confusing section that I know a lot of people use um, if you're trying to limit shipping to only the 48 that's all you want to do business with then that's a good case where you would come in here to the country and state lists and you would disable everybody else and then they just would never show up in the users billing um, and shipping address info so if somebody can't select during checkout um, Canada or they can't ship Europe in the pull downs then you've limited shipping to them so don't don't use zones for that purpose although we do have them um, they're useful in our other shipping methods so this is a, a quick rundown of how our live shipping works um, hopefully that gives you a, a guide of what to do uh, again there's a, quite a bit of thought process and setup 
uh, you do have to get the API keys connect you do have to come in here to shipping rates and turn them on and you do need to add as many rates as you can stay away from zones um, just let it do its thing and then at the product level just make sure that you have uh, products that are shippable and that have good weights and dimensions at that point um, we have a few other settings you're more than welcome to look through here um, probably worth checking our documentation for um, adding free local pickup or shipping your live items separately if there are maybe big boxes um, that's a good choice we have handling fees which can add to your live shipping rates as well as uh, you know what dimension unit you're going to use throughout your store so it's worth taking five minutes um, and going through and making sure you have some of these basics set up in your system um, and then live shipping can be a, a good benefit for you and again easy card is one of the few e-commerce systems especially at our price point where we offer all of them and you can have USPS, UPS, FedEx all running um, and connected pulling live rates for you um, in a pretty economical package so if you have more questions uh, feel free to check out our online documentation um, or you know watch this video a couple of times it may be worth doing because it is a complicated process um, it's worth taking the time in 20 minutes to uh, flip through things and just make sure it works um, so if you want to check out our other videos we're gonna have them on uh, if you want to streamline and maybe go with a basic price uh, tables or static shipping those are great choices too to kind of simplify things I always like keeping things simple uh, when it comes to shipping some people really get too uh, too worked up about uh, cents here and there uh, when it comes to it so check out our other videos if you want to look at price based or table based shipping or static rates we'll talk about those in in the other videos so thanks for watching